Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs Tong Lun Si Sulit said the Union of Southeast Asian Nations, despite diverse ethnic groups, culture, political regimes, as well as economic and cultural status, is one of the outstanding qualities in this regional community. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs Tong Lun Si Sulit made the comment when speaking about ASEAN at a lecture held in Vientiane on Friday to mark the 47th anniversary of the regional organization and the 17th anniversary of Laos' entry into ASEAN. He said it is wonderful to see the ASEAN member states with nations of multiple ethnic groups immersed in a diverse set of religions, culture, economic status and politics joining together seamlessly. Speaking of unique populations and political regimes, the Deputy Prime Minister said Myanmar, for example, was a country of more than 200 ethnic groups and had maintained political stability despite some of those groups having their own military forces. He also reminded the participants of the ASEAN way which he said was very different to the European Union or EU. This comment was made with regard to the fact that ASEAN member states did not all have similar foreign and national defense policies. However, they were joined under the principle of non-interference in internal affairs. He also spoke of the benefits Laos had gained over the past 17 years of being an ASEAN member, highlighting the use of a regional organization role for the country and allowing Laos to secure its position on the international stage through the ASEAN external relations mechanisms. Currently, ASEAN is preparing to form the economic community at the end of next year. In relations to this, he said ASEAN's plan to become an economic community will facilitate a more flexible flow of capital, labor and goods among member states, which have a single production base and market. With regard to the country's preparedness, Mr. Tong Lun commented on the transformation of Laos to increase ASEAN connectivity with the upgrade of eight national roads to link Laos with main roads in other neighboring countries, as well as four airports designated to be used by the region. He also noted that other works in Laos needed to be improved, such as ministries, human resource development, and social welfare in order to meet the challenges that come with the free flow of capital and labor. He said social welfare in Laos was still poor in comparison with other member countries, and if it was not improved, then it could lead to qualified and skilled laborers seeking jobs outside the country. He also emphasized on the need to build capacity in the private sector in order to sufficiently meet the competition. In addition, production costs in the country were frequently high, with bribery being one of the factors in the trend. Core officials from various sectors and some nearby provinces attended the lecture. <laughs> 